He had nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, we met up with uh, Dad's friend and his wife, Ann Parker, and we got in there and he broke in one night and we stayed there and and then within a week there were 13 fam 13 other people couples there mm. was this down to homelessness or what everybody was homeless yeah hmm? everybody was homeless yeah yes yeah they wanted a place to live and Mr. Wilkinson, which was a Labour man from the council here, that was the last time there was a Labour in Guildford. It's always been Conservative. And he came with his men from the council and said we had to go. So he said, uh, so we said, well, what do you want it for? We want it for a day nursery. Hmm. So any rate, I turned around and says, well, where am I going to sleep? Oh. I'm expecting a child. And then they all chipped in. So they had a, a talk and said that they would come back. So they went down and turned the electric and the gas off and the telephones and George and his friend went down and turned it all back on again. At any rate, we were there for about a ten days, fortnight, and they came back. And they said that they were making Fanny Painter's mansion into flats. We could stay there. We could stay there until the flats were ready and live rent free. Hmm. So that's what happened. That's Ardmore House. Was there any trouble, sort of like legal trouble? Because I think Grenad was saying that there was something about logging, wasn't it? I think Grenad's saying there was police involved about logging it and somebody taking some wood or something. No, there wasn't any police involved. All right, okay. All right. No. All right, okay. Not that I remember. No. no. So there we are. That's your do. So how long was it? It was just two weeks, was it? Two weeks? No, we were there. We were there a few a couple of months, I couple think, months. because they had to do those in flats. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, we all went up into the flats, and we were all right. All right. So how many families were there? About thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. What do you think of the photograph? It's very good. I was how I knew it, the house, because I was stationed there in the ATS. Mm. So I knew the house. All oh, right. Were you the one who told Grand that it was available or <laughs> whatever? Well, we knew it was empty. Yeah. And we had to have somewhere to live. Because mm. uh, Grand was living with his mum at the moment, was it what? We were up at Rides Hill and yeah. she said we'd have to go. Yeah. She couldn't keep us any longer. So that's what happened. Right, you can turn it off now. <laughs>